Good morning. Welcome to EVE Online. I'm Major Freak. And this is an... Well, it's it's when you... Uh, it's when you play with UI scaling. Uh, I was spelunking in uh, dev blogs and one of them talked about and showed an example of UI scaling. So I was like, hey, let's crank to the max and... Uh, see what happens. It's nice to see uh, the commercialization is being crowded out by uh, the portraits. It seems kind of comical and silly, but hey, <laughs> let's give it a whirl. Blurg. This character was originally intended to uh, fly an oversized McWarp drive uh, stabber. I found the stabber was the uh, fastest. I uh, went through all the uh, various faction Tech 1 cruisers and even I tried the uh... sorry. I even tried the um, uh, the Navy issues and and it just and the pirates as well and and the stabber seemed to be the cheapest and fastest of all of them. Funny enough, there there isn't actually any ship that gives you, well, applicable ship that'll give you a, a speed increase per level. I know there's a one or two of them that actually do, but it 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 wasn't the right ship class. So first, uh, liminality, huh? Hmm. I kind of like it. It's, it. This might cry it, crowd out the the screen, but Palamon, Ordat, Nelfin. Okay, that nothing new there. There. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? We're assuming. Are they bulwarks yet? Still redoubts. So, yeah, 10. So it might be capped to 10. It started at 1, and we're all like, the the F? <laughs> and it quickly grew to 10. I'm not sure if there... Well, everything's hard-coded, so CCP's obviously being screwing with it. Um, with the numbers. You can guarantee that. You know, each day it would just jump. And it would happen outside of downtime, too. It's, it's interesting the uh it reminds me of my old if my old computer where I had everything just crammed together to fit four clients at once onto the screen uh by cascading the windows and windows uh, XP or something I forget kind of takes me back the uh you can tell the graphics are like some of the like if you open um it's kind of fuzzy, um, but nothing annoyingly so. Yeah, it, when I immediately switched, it's fuzz. It was fuzzy to me, to my eyes. But now that I just opened it, it doesn't seem too egregious. You know, it's like all right. I can I can deal with the kind of fuzziness of it, and. This is bigger. It's kind of cute. It's huge. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Um, let's open a normal overview profile. See how squished it is. Yeah, it's pretty squished. Nice and big, though. Uh, let's open this up, and I think... I still have small font on, so we'll, uh... Where is the small font? Small font, small font. Small font... Am I just not looking? Where is it? No? No? Ah, there it is. There we go. Also apply to other objects in space. I don't know, let's try that. Whee! Alrighty. Yeah, it's pretty comical.
<laughs> What's your history like? How anonymous is this chicky poo? Alright. Very anonymous. Cool. Yeah, she's just been uh, an alpha character. This is an alpha character. Uh, alpha character who has not uh, hoard on any kills and is used primarily as a pseudo or sets cloaky on a, a scout on a gate. Uh, when I was mining ice in Kerry, I would put her on the Sapphire Gate, Sapphire, whatever, um, in Itrin, uh, on the in gate from uh, Sapphire and orbit at 5,000 kilometers at 5,000 meters per second. And that's good enough for most people. I mean, you, you can, they even tried uh, one group over two months there was only one group that really tried to do competent combat probing and sending uh some ships to catch me but unfortunately for me they didn't have a interceptor uh as well and that would have uh, definitely done it but i uh i will definitely take off if i see an interceptor but i hardly did it was very interesting the uh they don't most Romy groups in low sec really don't have interceptors. They're not that useful in low sec. Uh, I'm sure they're highly useful in uh, null, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I traipsed into null on singularity uh, and I'm doing aura regeneration tests and I'm quite happy to report that the null sec belts are just horrible. Um, they've been nerfed into oblivion. And no wonder they have an or anomalies down there and in infrastructure hubs because otherwise it's just pretty shitty. And of course to learn or relearn how to remember that uh, security status is where the true security status is. Um, it goes, you know, we're like 0.9 and stuff. They actually have goes to minus all the way to Point nine, and there's actually uh, one or more that are actually minus one, uh, but that is very rare, vanishingly rare. Of course, a few of them are in Delve and Curious. And of course, in Delve and Curious, you've got the Sancha rats, which are, or is it? I'm pretty sure it's Sancha that I can remember. But yeah, I'll definitely use one of those weird filament things to randomly go to Nullsec and, and check it out that way. But I only need to do the test once for a regeneration. Let's see, check out. Alright, what do we got here? We already opened that. We open this. Whew. Oh, right, you can also change, I think you can change that font size, too. Uh, la, 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 la. Font size, whee! Crank that to max, see what happens. Yeah, I'd... Let's, let's open that up again and go with the tiniest. And of course, the UI scaling tracks with that, right? So you can probably compensate a bit, and of course, like we, like I showed, you can use the font, small font. Don't really like using the small color tags. It seems to be kind of strange.
And we're almost to Jita. Let's let's crank it the other way. I I hate the radio menu. Let's do it up. Yep. Woohoo! Squint, squint. Well, I must say that is rather interesting. Of course, quite a shock from going from the comical large uh, scaling. It'd be nice if this was smaller. Well, it doesn't seem smaller. Yeah, there's no way to... I guess everybody's tried to make this smaller. Hmm. You know, it's weird. I've always tried to find ways of making a no object selected when you have a freaking destination to actually make CCP's code actually select the next jump gate by having different and you know I, I even I would even uh, try uh, where is it where is it uh, I, I would even try just ganking the entire overview itself like just eradicating everything and it still would go no object selection and selected in certain systems guaranteed there was always certain systems that you, you just get nothing. Oh, well, not always, I shouldn't say that. But yeah, it was consistently annoying. Sadly. And that's been the way forever. Um, no, no, no. I'd love to knock CCP. Uh, but they've done an amazing job of getting rid of a lot of the annoying bugs like there was one bug where if you docked at a system station and then undocked uh, I believe I forget the actual uh, re I could couldn't repro it for you at the m moment I just so far back in the past but you'd undock and like two-thirds of your capacitor would be gone <laughs> you try to warp to the next gate and be like sorry cannot warp it was just the most annoying thing ever they got rid of it a long time ago um yeah a lot of stuff they fixed i've never used this I mean, the silliest thing ever but hey good for them you know but this is fun to be able uh, i think like you can reorder it and stuff by doing this it's just I'm sh it might be it's like plus stuff you learn about the game too like the aura regeneration I don't think anybody's ever and if they did they kept it close to your chest for <laughs> some stupid reason <laughs> but yeah high sec is it regenerates to full in two days low sec gets takes 20 days and three days to even respond respawn period uh, and null sec seems to be trending in the in the low sec direction as well it would be nice if it took even longer because the my my whole viewpoint is it might be the badlands and where the frontier is but if it had great resources there would have been no logical explanation why the empires would be more interested in policing Nullsec and controlling it, you know, it's, it's a government. They're the empires. Why wouldn't they have spread out into into Nullsec if there was decent uh, stuff to get over there? Um, I've been thinking about the late. You really have to pick up, uh, deconstruct this damn game. If there are rare ore out in Nullsec, like the like I was saying, the minus minus nine stuff and the really good stuff right and you think okay that's that's good it's it's rare it's hard they put the origin runner generation down really low but 
the logic behind making the ore re regenerate so differently from high and low, like massively, like a factor of 10, but everybody's in high sec. That makes no sense. I mean, I'm still trying to, I'm just learning this stuff in the last month. It, it'll take a while to percolate, but it's like, Why did they have order generation so rapid in ISEC and have it so... Yeah, this is annoying. <laughs> but you can always work around it by clicking here, especially if you have nothing here. So yeah, see, you'll still get that if you have absolutely literally nothing in your overview. Like one tap and then nothing. No, no brackets either. I've even tried disabling the overlays and doing everything I can to keep this. No, it's just easy. To be. But yeah, I mean, I think eventually the contradictions will. Oh, I forget the word, but uh, uh, cancel each other out. And uh, I know there's a word for that, but I forget. Yeah, and it would be interesting to, uh, because CCP, I guarantee you, no gaming, n nobody, if they code something, can know, have omniscience about their code and the uh, translating to their perfect intent of what the game was. And they always say, oh, we never intended that. No, you didn't even know what you intended when you coded that thing. And the laws of unintended consequences obviously mean that your code is what you intended but of course that's not what they say at all it's like oh that's what not what they intended but <laughs> <laughs> their intent is to make money and to prevent people from exploiting the system that that's that's anybody's any commercial enterprise's intent obviously but to say oh no we didn't intend that specific thing is like when you just <laughs> oh i'm sorry but anyways that's I intended to stop the video when I got to cheetah so that'll end that little silly rant but thanks for listening and uh, hope you found this useful kind of like this uh, I can actually see everything it's kind of cool maybe it's because I've got a really large resolution I mean lots the resolution is really awesome um, I used to have when I used to play uh, when I used to play this stuff, it would be... I forget how to fiddle with this thing. I forget. But yeah, um, I was able to uh, uh, reduce this to the absolute minimum. Um, I think I have to go there. Yeah, that's the end. I used to have... I used to play the game. It was nutsoid. I'd have, like, you know, I just... Just say, well, you've seen it. I used to have four of those, and it was horrible. But yeah, anyways, I don't need to go into that. Let's uh, dial it back to the f present. Yeah, kind of like it this way. I'm going to try it. It's kind of neat. Much less spreadsheets in space.